Welcome to our daily devotional series, The Daily Herald. I pray that these messages will come to you as an encouragement and a reminder to be heralds of the Lord daily. God bless you. In Kindness, August 25 Put on, therefore, as the elect of God, holy and beloved, bowels of mercies, kindness, humbleness of mind, meekness, long-suffering. Colossians 3.12 let the law of kindness be upon your lips and the oil of grace in your heart. This will produce wonderful results. You will be tender, sympathetic, courteous. You need all these graces. The Holy Spirit must be received and brought into your character. Then it will be as holy fire, giving forth incense, which will rise up to God, not from lips that condemn, but as a healer of the souls of men. Your countenance will express the image of the divine. By beholding the character of Christ, you will become changed into his likeness. The grace of Christ alone can change your heart, and then you will reflect the image of the Lord Jesus. God calls upon us to be like him, pure, holy, and undefiled. We are to bear the divine image. The Lord Jesus is our only helper. Through His grace we shall learn to cultivate love, to educate ourselves to speak kindly and tenderly. Through His grace our cold, harsh manners will be transformed. The law of kindness will be upon our lips, and those who under the precious influences of the Holy Spirit will not feel that it is an evidence of weakness to weep with those who weep, to rejoice with them that rejoice. We are to cultivate heavenly excellencies of character. We are to learn what it means to have goodwill toward all men, a sincere desire to be as sunshine and not as shadow in the lives of others. Seize every opportunity to contribute to the happiness of those around you, sharing with them your affection. Words of kindness, looks of sympathy, expressions of appreciation would to many a struggling lonely one be as a cup of cold water to a thirsty soul. Live in the sunshine of the Saviour's love. Then your influence will bless the world. Let the Spirit of Christ control you. Let the law of kindness be ever on your lips. Forbearance and unselfishness mark the words and actions of those who are born again to live the new life in Christ.